Hey guys, uh, so to add details to my images, I like to uh, take uh, the, this black type of Sharpie marker and uh, darken the eyes a little bit. Sometimes when you stamp images, they don't stamp, the eyes never stamp really well. So I just darken them and add eyelashes just to play up a little bit. All right, so here I am just... Um, making a, f a wooden floor sort of uh, for the stamp to be standing on and this is going to allow me uh, to put a wall behind her with pattern paper and I'll show that uh, when I get done I'll show you how I kind of uh, piece uh, the stamp and the floor onto a piece of background paper. All I'm doing is putting stripes of marker <laughs> down. Uh, you could get real artistic with this. I am not an artist and uh, this is the best I could do, but I thought it looked uh, realistic enough. So uh, with this uh, dark, uh, what is this, a dry erase marker, uh, I like to add extra dark shading on top of a colored pencil. Um, I also do this on top of marker, uh, like Pro Marker or Copic Marker, uh, because I don't have a black marker, to, uh, Copic or Pro Marker, believe it or not. <laughs> so um, I'm getting ready to cut that stamp out, and um, you'll see what I do in a minute. Okay, so with uh, this this stamp, I'm going to take some gesso and uh, stylus to add just some dots to her sweater. And uh, yeah, that's it. All oh, that's all I'm going to do with this uh, stamp here. And then uh, for the little outline uh, around the circle, the little doodle uh, marks, I use the same zig um, multi liner. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, just showing you guys uh, the little additions I like to add to my stamps. Uh, just very simple things that can make them come alive. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.